and welcome to another video. This is Fizono, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what is trunk base and how to use it. I use it all the time in my videos. So let's get started. Okay, so you come to your Google browser and you uh, type trunk base. If you typed it before, then it'll come up, but if you haven't, then type trunk base. You don't have to type .com, but just type trunk base. Then press enter. And you should come to this page. Okay, so now click on apps. And so what trunk base does is it's a tool where you can find uh, cool locations on your world which I use all the time and you can find so many. I think they've even added an end, I mean a diamond and a uh, netherite one. So using this is actually pretty fast. And so all of them are the same uh, steps except the biome finder, which um, it's a bit harder and yeah, so I'll also be going over that, but I'll, since everything else is the same, I'll just go to Slime Chunk, and it's the same steps as all of these. So go to Slime Chunk, or whatever one you want. It doesn't have to be Slime Chunk. And so then you should be on this page. So the first thing you want to do is it says version over here. It uh, should say your version if you're on Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. I'm on Java Edition, which is the computer, and Bedrock Edition is uh, mainly the Xbox and uh, iPad and phone, I think, can also go onto uh, Java Edition. So, yeah, but I'm in Java. And then the next thing you want to do is open up Minecraft. And you should get a sticky note out. So let me get a sticky note or a piece of paper or whatever. Something to write a few notes in. And a pen. Or you can just do this on your phone or laptop. Or a different device. Okay. And... Let's wait for Minecraft to get in. It might take a while, but don't worry, it'll come. It comes all the time. It's just a bit slow. And also, what you are going to need to do, oh, well, yeah, what you are going to need to do as well is find out your coordinates and if you don't know what coordinates are or how to get them I'll be teaching you guys and let my load 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 and then oh and I'm pretty sure chunk base also works for multiplayer servers and all that and realms and so you can use either single player multiplayer or Minecraft Realms for this. I'm pretty sure that's uh, you can do it for all those. Okay, so uh, you're just going to go into a single play single player world, and uh, how about my Persona world? Okay, and let's load. Let it load and make sure you have your piece of paper nearby with a pencil or a pen. And what you want to write first is your seed. And what your seed is, is like a world name, sort of. And it's a series of numbers. It can be any number, really. And um, so then you want to hit slash seed enter and your seed will come up but if you don't press um, uh, go to this page to like pause the game it will go away and so I just like to keep it like this and you can still see it okay 
Seven. Okay, so now once you've entered your seed, you want to hit back to game. And uh, now what you want to do is check your coordinates. So your X coordinate and your Z coordinate, which on the Xbox laptop, I mean Xbox iPad or phone, uh, that'll be your first set of coordinates and last set of coordinates. So on laptop, hit F3. And if you're on a different device, all you have to do is go uh, into settings and enable coordinates. And so you can see over here on the left-hand side where my cursor is, uh, that first number is minus 279. Not, I mean 297, and so that's the uh, x coordinate where I'm at. So you can just make it easy for the computer and mm, write down minus 297. That's it, the exact goal. And then this next set of coordinates is your y coordinates. That's which level block you are you are on. We don't really, for chunk base, need to know or care about that, but we do need to care about the last set. This is the Z coordinates. So mine is 68. Let's just write 68. Cool. And so now, all you have to do is go back onto chunk base. Let's quit the game. And go back into Chrome. And then here. Okay. So now here you wrote down your seed. Enter it. Here I have it since I've done it many times. Six eight. Six six. Five four. Four three. Six one. Zero seven six nine seven. And here's a little thing actually about real life. My real life. Um it's like so my brother, he always wants like different biomes for me to find different biomes. Like yesterday he asked for me to find a jungle. And I just like I don't really like doing it for him and I'm just like why don't you find it on your own <laughs> so I made this video okay so now you're on your uh, so you go down here down like so where you enter the seed over here you go down here sorry just uh, disabling the ads and now you see this X uh, next to that, you type your x coordinate, which for me was minus two nine seven, and then go to the one where it says z next to it, and type in your z coordinates, which mine was sixty eight, and then hit go, and so you can zoom zoom in and zoom out. And as you can see, I'm very close to a few slime chunks. This happens for, you can do these set of steps for every thing, every finder, except the biome, which I'll be showing you how to do it. It's easier and you can save the map and not show grid lines. But I think it's just harder without showing the grid lines and it looks way more plain. And so I'm going to keep the grid lines. Okay, so if you want to find the biome, go into your biome. 
and see this one is different so it asks java uh and for java there's so many you can do 1.16 and above which right now that's one it's 1.16 and above it's 1.16.4 i believe and so i would click java 1.16 and above but if you're on bedrock you go down all the way here and click on bedrock 1.14 and above okay cool and then enter the seed of your world again which seriously i hate doing this four four three six one zero seven six nine seven and also i'm very sorry that i really haven't made a video in the last few days i just didn't have time even on the weekends and so now you enter your x coordinate next to the x minus two and seven and z coordinate next to the z which is 68 for me okay and then over here it says filter biomes you can click on that and you uh go to this area this bar and it will sorry just these ads uh it will uh, say ask what biome you want to find and there's all the biomes here see bamboo jungle all these i i don't i don't have time to read it but you can do whatever you want you want i'm just going to do um swamp we know there's one near us and then uh dimensions okay so if you're finding something in the nether or end you click here and right now i'm finding something in the overworld which is a swamp and if you want something in the nether like a um, crimson biome or a warp forest or soul sand valley you can click the nether which will have a bunch of other things but you have to filter uh, the biome again and if you want some entities i think i don't really know what the biomes are in the end i've never really tried it but you can you guys can totally try it and uh in the comments down below please tell me what uh biomes are in the end i'd really love to find out okay and then just oh these are the ones okay well cool anyway still comment down below which one you used if you're using the end nether or overworld comment down below and so let's just go to the overworld and we wanted the swamp right okay and then since you're all done with that hit go and yeah we have a lot of swamps around us i think our swamp is this big one or this one i don't think it's this one it's either these two but yeah and so that's really how you use chunk base and coordinates are another thing you need to use see uh so this is your coordinates but you might not know how to get to here uh if it's a really long distance i recommend using the nether because it um makes the distance uh shorter eight times so like if you have to travel eight thousand blocks in the overworld you'd have to only travel one thousand in the nether so that's a cool really cool thing okay and you can zoom in zoom out yeah so i think chunk paste is a really cool tool and yeah and so also there in minecraft are negative coordinates and what negative coordinates are like if they grow if you know negative numbers it's just that so yeah and yeah so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed make sure to smash the like button and hit the notifications bell also don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye